Hey there, YouTube. If you want to see Always Open 24 hours early, along with other first member exclusive content, you could sign up for a free 30-day trial by clicking this link right here. And uh, yeah, we'll love you forever. Not that we already don't, but we'll love you even more. Wink. <laughs> to the season finale of Always Open! Oh, boo. Boo. Oh, boo! I know, it's so sad, it's ending. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Movement Watches and Casper Mattresses. Thank you, sponsors. Uh, I am your host for this evening, Barbara Dunkelman, and with me today, I have uh, only two other people that we yeah. managed to get for the show. I know, no one I wanted know. to join the, the finale. Everyone was yeah. too sad. Who, what, what are your names? Bethany. And I'm Mariel. Wait a minute. Wait, what is that? What? There's like a rumbling. Wait, I feel something what is There's a rumbling. <laughs> Not oh. today, Barbara. <laughs> oh, you thought you could keep me from the season finale all of a sudden. But here I am <laughs> with my party hat. <laughs> Oh my god, Elise! See, it's better than my hope. Elise, I didn't know you were down there. Yeah. How did you get there? Oh god, this company doesn't have good How's enough health insurance. Let me do that. So, welcome, Elise Willems. Thank you guys for having me. This is this is an honor. We spent like the first hour before the show trying to figure out a good ent entrance for you the whole time. I, I wanted to come in vacuuming really loudly. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, we were gonna have you start the show and then oh you yeah, that, in. that's true. Yeah, we so, had a lot of different options. Yeah, but I think there were a couple. I like the one we went with. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, it is the season finale, which is happy and sad at the same time. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be taking a little break to get ready for season two of the show. So I just wanted to toast. Yes. Oh, yeah. To everybody so. who's watched the whole first season and everyone who's been a part of the first show, thank yes. you so much. Yeah. We love you. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers you everybody. Cheers. So this is a shout out to the whole audience. I was going to slam the champagne glass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant to slam it down. I was like, damn girl. Like, just chug it. Ooh, that's mm, nice. Really good. That is beautiful. Now we can take these party sets. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking okay. <laughs> <laughs> We just wanted to wear it for Kill me. <laughs> the rubber band was like cutting yeah, into my it's jugular. Too much. Yeah, it's too much. So, uh... Interesting revelation happened recently. Oh, jeez. Bethany had a dream about oh, Mariel. God. Oh, we're already oh. talking about this. You're going to start the show off with this? Oh, yeah. I thought we were going to talk about this later. Okay. Oh, right Man. now. Let me take another sip. They got it sound about Bruce. <laughs> oh, I I've got one for him later. <laughs> you, why don't you want to hear about Bruce? Because Bruce. Great Uncle Bruce to her. Bruce, I mean, I've known Bruce for almost a decade now, and he's like, he's like a brother to me. He's like, a great like uncle. An old, like an older. <laughs> like a great uncle that's only four <laughs> years older. Like than a her. grandpa kind but of. But yeah, I, I hate hearing about any. Ugh. So I try to like. <laughs> I try to upset her on purpose and mm -hmm. embarrass her and disgust her. And well, I probably shouldn't time. tell you about yeah. the time where Bethany told me about getting finger blasted in a bathroom. Oh my god! Was it at the time tacos? you caught us? <laughs> Or the time I caught you guys. Mm -hmm. Man, we've got lots of oh, stories. You just don't have the yeah. time. Do you have the full hour to dedicate to this? I probably do, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna anyway. get, Bethany gets blasted so much, I'm going to get her a t-shirt that says Fire the Thruster. <laughs> just see, like, one, two, three, blast off. <laughs> <laughs> Selling the RT ship, store. Like fingers. <laughs> More like Bruce off. Oh, God. Good. I don't like that one. Oh, God. <laughs> Even for me. I don't like that one. <laughs> this is my nightmare. But this time you had a dream about... So this time I had a dream about Mary Salcedo so sitting right here next to me. It's probably because so we spend so much time together. Well, okay. Well, you'll, you can tell the dream and then we'll, we'll give so, an So, obviously, it was a sex dream. <laughs> Um, we started fondling each other up top. <laughs> I can't. Were you guys naked? <laughs> we start. We started with our clothes on. What was I wearing? You were wearing, which is that's not something I'd ever picture you wearing, but like a red bra. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. We wearing just a regular red bra, nice. and we started nice. like cool. touching each other, and then it went to under the bra, but the bra was still on. And then we went to mouths on boobs and nips. <laughs> <laughs> Check, please. And then, <laughs> and then go. the last thing I remember before I woke up, or right before I woke up, was Mariel was naked putting a strap on on oh. to pound me. <laughs> <laughs> she was like so excited. She looked really pretty with the strap on on. Oh, right. And she was what a beautiful accessory. Take, yeah. <laughs> take me to pound town. How it was that a black strap. Your beauty. On. I don't know. She just looked really elegant. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because all of a sudden she had a penis, so she was the combination <laughs> of everything so you love. Maybe. She's not the first person I've had a dream about at the company. Oh, like, yeah. Women. Really? You, Emily she... McBride. No, oh. not you. Not either of you yet. I can't wait. You text me when it happens. I'll tell, you, I, I tell everyone when it happens. I feel like her. I'm very honest about you it. You had a dream about Meryl before me. I know. Hey. What does that mean? 
I know what it means. We know what it means. Okay. We well, Meryl is a lesbian, uh, so maybe you, know what you thought she'd be more willing <laughs> but, to um, participate. It's the <laughs> way you told it was. Oh, she didn't believe you. me. She thought I was girl. making up the details, and I was like, "No, that's what happened in the dream. I'm not making it yeah, up." Yeah, no, I because well, she she said it to um, I because I'm president of the events team. I don't know if anyone yeah, knows that, she's but not. I'm head of I'm Bethany's boss. She's not. Um, so there's a Slack group with all of the girls in events, and for some reason, I'm in it too. So um, you're like an honorary member. Well, she like, like lives a, in our office. I, yeah, she I has, do. Yeah. Um, but she was like, "Oh, I had a Mar- a dream about Mariel in like last night," and she's telling us about she's like oh yeah like i had this dream about mariel and i was like oh like what is it and they're like ooh, is it a sex dream and she's like yeah actually and i was like ha 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 whatever and then i slacked her and i was like no but really she's like, she was like let me dm you this what i was don't your... want all the girls to know yeah i was like what was your dream about and she's like no seriously and i was like why so you had sex with your boss yeah she had sex with, <laughs> oh, I also had sex with an employee I know, yeah. it's true and in the dream i remember thinking i'm a really bad boss i'm gonna get fired <laughs> what? well have you done things with women before I mean, I've had things done to me, but I've never reciprocated. You are such a pillow queen. Okay, because I've never always calls me a pillow queen. <laughs> I've never had any sexual dreams about women in that capacity to yeah. that detail because I've never yeah. been with a woman like that. So I, I never know. have either. So yeah, I maybe it's, I maybe either. it's my brain's well, way of <laughs> until now. This <Yeah>. is <laughs> actually <laughs> just a dream, you guys. Our, our, our way of of like coming onto each other is just putting our butts <laughs> toward each other. I was just We're scooching closer. We're bumping donuts. Right. Right. We are. <laughs> Which is yeah. Aaron's favorite term. Um, but so Emily McBride, who you've also had a dream about, like yeah, looked but, it up. And she oh, was yeah. Like, oh, it, up what the dream meant. It means that you're like very close to this person Aww. or like you admire something about them. Again, like, very close. Well, you want so that not the pussy. second part. Not the second part. <laughs> not the second part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> but okay, dump yeah. those titties out. Um, that's, <laughs> we'll call this episode I Want Puss. Oh, <laughs> I'm also going to try to come up with a really great episode title okay, for you guys. Do. Please, please do. do. Yeah. Just say really crazy things yeah, so okay. we could use that yeah. as a title. All right, cool. Right. Like dump those titties out. Yeah, dump those, dump those titties out. Or I want that puss. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good. Maybe both, both in great. one. Or take me to pound town. Yeah. Or just that's so I don't know. I just, Why are you embarrassed? Do you? I mean. Yeah, you were. You weren't. Like, I guess a dream. Your it's not real life. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, know. it could be. <laughs> Dreams can come true. They is it can. just because it was Bethany, or like would have been anyone at work? I think it's just, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. Or is it the strap on? Probably that. <laughs> I, I, well, I wonder like how, like I'm just trying to picture myself, like how elegant I looked. You looked really elegant. Red bra and a strap on. Was very. the strap on black? I yes. feel like red and black would go. No, it was. Yeah, it's like very Texas tech color or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's why I'm so embarrassed. Man, you guys are so lucky. I only ha- ever have dreams about my husband leaving me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Isn't this the show where we talk about all of our uh, personal issues? No. Uh, they're not even like sex dreams. Like he doesn't like. Like he puts on a strap yeah. on and then leaves. And then and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to Aaron. <laughs> Uh, Doesn't he? You, you said before the show that he talks about Aaron a lot. He d- he thinks Aaron is the most handsome man at Rooster Teeth. Wow. And he's Ew. he's confident in his sexuality to oh, say that's that. So gross. Yeah. Um, no, well he's. I mean, also the creepiest man at Rooster Teeth. <laughs> 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 Goes hand in hand. We only say that because he's sitting right there. <laughs> Drinking his no, coffee. No, but he said someday he's gonna leave you for Aaron. Maybe that's what the dream is about. Maybe I just haven't seen around the curtain yet. But would you still be friends with him if he's gonna <laughs> leave you for another woman? Oh, no, 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 no. You could not. But if you like me for Aaron. Who would get Benson? Elise. Oh, God. It's whoever would, I think. doesn't know. Do no, I think if he left you and the he was the one lupus. that fucked up, then you would have to take him. I want a broke him. dog. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I didn't know dogs could get lupus. He did. He found a way. It's a charming <laughs> quality real about asshole. him. <laughs> he's so cute. You guys got him how long ago? He was like four years old. We got him three years ago. And he's seven we got years. an old, broke-ass lupus dog. <laughs> I was going to say, did you get him when he already had it? Yeah, they tricked us. We didn't know. And then you fell in love with him. And then they dropped him off and we're like, by the way, he's got lupus. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. It's just like, instead of just married, it says your dog has lupus. Yeah, <laughs> just lupus. Just lupus. Oh, just he's lupus. the sweetest. I'm, yeah. I have met Benson. I've never met him. I think so. He's this little, like, pink nose, yeah. like a little brown. The lupus he's, nose. Yeah. Yeah, is, that a, is that yeah. Yeah. the characteristic? We don't have to talk about him. <laughs> so tell us more about your dog. Or puss, oh. whatever, pick yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Sex um, No, that's it. People I don't think I've ever had a... Never mind. No, now you have to say. What's up? Well, I don't Uh-oh. remember, but I know I have. I've had... Have, Sex dreams? I've had one. About someone we know? Um, Is it me? Barbara. <laughs> this is actually my dream. Better the strap on. <laughs> no. Um, it I will be now. I don't know. I don't... I know I've had some, but I, I can't, like... I mean, it's been so long that... 
Mm-hmm. Mostly my dreams are about sad things like death and dying. Yeah, people leaving you. Me too. They're always really Demons sad. in the corner. I had a sex dream about Shaq once. What? <laughs> <laughs> <Is that? laughs> There's the title. In a single bed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't even I can't even dream myself into a king size bed. <laughs> With but you have a king size man at least. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's probably he, Shaq was, is probably wider and longer like than a You're so segue, little. Huh? You're so little. <laughs> oh, well we're not doing the ad read yet, oh, Elise. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I feel like he would break you. I know. That's what yeah, I'm saying. He's a he's a he would probably well endowed. I well and I Do been, you think it's proportional? His penis? I'm sure. Yeah, Shaq's, it has to be. Does anybody know huge. how big Jack's penis is? It's big, but he's so huge. Of he course Aaron knows. Yeah, apparently yeah, oh, I would so I would think the same thing because he Eric's biased because of his small penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry. No, well oh, he's <laughs> he's such a big dude that like even if he had a big penis, it would still look small. Like even if his penis yeah. was thirteen inches, he's still so. he's still what seven, seven foot. Four. But so oh. like it would have to be like fucking like like elephant tusk. Yeah. <laughs> or elephant trunk. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Not tusk. To, to be to <laughs> work. tucked in his sock. You know, I feel like he'd be proportionate. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't want to. I don't want to think about like that. Like like a tripod. Yeah. Like a tri- yeah. He's definitely is. Oof. Is he married? Hopefully Shaq? not. <laughs> <laughs> when when James really does leave you. Yeah. There you go. Shaq, it's me. <laughs> Tweet up Shaq. <laughs> Tweet him. <laughs> oh man. Oh, oh Shaq. Well, I can't think of a perfect segue into our first topic. Not ad read. I know. Fully. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so this one is submitted by anonymous, and it's uh, your first time embarrassing yourself during sex. About every time I have sex. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Are you just like, doy? <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Not again. Um, um, I once shit on a guy's dick. No, you didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I'm just giving you a really cool title for this <laughs> show. Jesus, <laughs> Dick shitters. We are dick shitters. <laughs> I, that never happened. I did read something on Vice once about oh my God. Uh, someone Oh, shitting. that's definitely happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I mean, I, 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 I mean, have read stories about women shitting. There's people who are into that. I just, well, I don't get the poop play. Not even really that. It's just <laughs> biologically, like, the, the feeling of, like, in your body oh. makes, you know, well, yeah. contracting. I don't know about you guys, but when you're having sex, and I personally have never done anal, nor do I really ever want to yeah I'm but like when there. when they're going in and then all of a sudden like they touch the op like the wrong hole for a second and you're like nope like yeah. wrong one yeah that like you feel like you need to shit all of a sudden <laughs> yeah. so i don't get how everybody who does anal doesn't just shit all over the I place i think sometimes they do right who was with us this weekend talking about it was me. Oh, oh, the shit me. stain oh no I, I have a different story <laughs> was that you no no i was not here this weekend who was saying there was something about a shit stain of like anal after anal sex and there was shit all over the mm. maybe if you're doing it enough you get you just get regular en- enemas or something like that yeah I don't, know. I don't know I always hate like if you look at porn and then all of a sudden they like have a girl who spreads her ass and it's like she's clearly had anal oh my every God. day for the last five yeah, years yeah because nothing's even in there it's <laughs> just like gigantic. hello <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <Wow. laughs> the winds of winter <laughs> <laughs> no there was a, a girl in high school who the story went around my whole high school because it was like so gross where she was having anal on her parents' bed oh, no. while they were out of town uh, with like this new guy she was seeing and then they came home early and opened the door and he got so scared that he pulled out suddenly and she shat all over the bed. Okay, so I, oh. maybe this is just urban legend. <laughs> because I, I have also heard this story going a similar way except when he pulled out there was a pea on the tip of his dick. Like she had eaten something that had green peas in what? it. <laughs> That is no, and I've not heard that yeah. version. Oh. It's like it's like the new version of Princess and the Pea. It's all these Canadian <laughs> urban legends. <laughs> you guys are missing out. I don't out understand on. what is the thrill in having sex in your parents' bed. I've never understood that. I've never I gotten it. I, I don't get that at all. I do not want to have though. sex where my parents have sex. No. Like that is yeah. just really a turn off for me. Yeah, that's really strange. But, uh, the embarrassing stuff. I thought about this long and hard. <laughs> because, Title. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because um I was like, man, I feel like there should be, but I feel like like messy like cummy que- queefs. Yeah, are, cummy queefs are like that's always. We got a lot of titles to work off of. <laughs> cummy queefs, <laughs> cummy queef queens. I, I feel like that's, that's always embarrassing, but but like that's just. Oh, I don't know. But like anything um, in particular where you remember like I'm never having sex again after this. Oh. Um. No, I, I really I couldn't think, think of anything. traumatized anything. me that much. I, yeah. it, for me, it was the first time I ever queefed because I was so oh. young that mm. I didn't even know Did it was Did you know a what thing. it was? No. 
I knew like it was after doing doggy style and then I moved to switch over to like lying down. And I guess from that position, you get a lot of air <laughs> oh, yeah, put into yeah, yeah. it. And so like I was flipped over and then like I put my legs up and all of a sudden it was just like, <laughs> and I'm like, that I that was not my butt. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I I guess I was kind of the same way, except then you get older yeah, and if you're on birth control or whatever, then yeah. you're like, oh man, now there's an added, I'm spew like I'm spewing. Yeah, <laughs> it's added, yeah, for sure. Because it's just messy anyway. I don't. I don't know. How did we? How did I you learn? Like, I guess you, that's how you learned about what a queef was. Yeah. But like how else? I don't know how I learned. Um, I mean, it must have been. You must have been in the situation and it happened. Yeah. And maybe it startled like me too. And I didn't understand. <laughs> <Just> scared yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, do you always recognize a queef? Do you always say something, or do you guys just keep going? Well, you know how it is. Like you're you in a, when you're in a relationship. It. I mean, if you're having sex with someone for the first time, that might be weird. I do yeah, the same but. thing where that I do when I fart, where I kind of pause to see if it's been, <laughs> it's been noticed and if not I don't address it <laughs> I mean come on James has to say something when you queef does he call you Aaron no because <laughs> like, of the Aaron and, yeah uh, Aaron in your vagina, vagina. Yeah. that's another great title for this episode oh, God. Yeah. I hope someone's writing these down yeah Aaron is <laughs> I feel like if I was you, I would just be embarrassed for everyone I'm having sex with because they're not as good as I am. Mm. Oh, okay. Why didn't you say the same thing about me? I know, thanks. <laughs> oh, I mean, you too far, thanks. Please. I don't know, I think the funniest thing, I wouldn't say embarrassing, but I think the funniest thing that continues, not like every time that happens, I'm like, I have a lot of allergies no matter which city, and when we're traveling so much, so not, no matter what city I go to, it takes me a couple days to acclimate. Yeah. So like I have sneezed Bruce out of me before. Oh wow! <laughs> like, uh, uh, <laughs> great grandpa Bruce, great uncle Bruce. Like sorry, why was he in you? <laughs> he was, so uh, he was an investigating, and we always laugh because it's so crime. startling for him to be shot out so quickly. <laughs> He's blasted out. Yeah, he's blasted out. Uh, yeah. Usually he finger blasts in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that I mean, it's funny, but when you're in a relationship for this long, like, it's not embarrassing anymore. What about you, Merle? Uh, I once had a full-on panic attack. Oh, uh, wow. So that was fun. Because I'm a very anxious person. Um, was it with someone new? It was, it was with Laura. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> it was like we had just we had been seeing each other for a few months. And it was um, whenever the Supreme Court had ruled marriage equality throughout the great 50 states. Oh, yeah. And so we went out and partied, and it was just like, I hadn't gotten drunk in a while, like, I was had a lot of emotions, and then just like, all these things pent up, and it was like, oh, God, now I'm panicking and crying. So what oh, happened? Yeah. Did you guys have to, like, pause? And oh, yeah, 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 no, it was like a full-on, like, I'm just gonna lay here and cry for a little bit. Yeah. Oh. And sob. Uh, sorry, There's nothing more embarrassing than crying during sex when you can't oh, God, control no. it. Yeah, no. It's, you know, I cry all the time. Well, she cries a lot. I cry period. at everything. I'm like She's a very emotional person. Right yeah. <laughs> Meryl was surprised. Like, I did not expect you to be an emotional person. I, I didn't either when emotional. I first met you were, You're so cool. Thanks. And, like, um, Yeah, this, this weekend, I was hanging out with one of the sales girls, Nicole, and we were talking about age, and I was like, she was like, I was like, oh, how old are you? She's like, oh, I'm 24. I was like, man, 24 was such a good year. Like, and Aren't you 24? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, just kept, I just kept it going the entire time. And she was like, yeah, you know. And, and she was like, uh, Clarissa was the one who was like, oh, Mariel's the same age. She was like, what? What the fuck? Like, she doesn't act 24. <laughs> how old do I act? Like, like good, like 24. 40. <laughs> yeah, like a good 40. I want to convince someone you're like 35. I thought you were like a hot 27. <laughs> you know? Nice, nice. <laughs> Yeah, I like that age. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm an anxious person and I cry a lot. You do cry a lot. But that's good. <laughs> what about the worst thing that's happened to you? Like, what you think the guy's most embarrassing moment or girl's most embarrassing mm. moment? I mean, a guy's has to easily be if they can't get hard. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, without a doubt, know. right? Uh, well, mine was, I, I've told it on other podcasts before, but never on this show, where uh, I was giving a blowjob to my current boyfriend and he was sitting <laughs> on the couch, like, with his pelvis out like that and I was on the ground. And uh, he just ripped Jesus. a giant fart. Uh. <laughs> Not on purpose. Aaron! Yeah, no, it we... wasn't Aaron. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's good to clarify. No, no, this was my first boyfriend. Oh, oh you said my, current, said my boyfriend. current boyfriend. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. Right. My, boyfriend. I met my boyfriend at the time <laughs> of that. Sorry, not Aaron. Aaron did not fart. <laughs> I'm, I'm disgusted so say, by I, you. I thought you said you guys didn't do any of that in front of each other, so. We don't. Yeah, that's yeah. why I was so surprised. That's why I was like, there's Which no way It would have been even more embarrassing. Yeah, But uh yeah, if you ever want to be instantly turned off, just have like a gust of air yeah. in your hair Ugh. that's fart. It's like baby gag. Yeah. Was it but like? Was he embarrassed? He, yeah. Okay. He was just like, oh. I could imagine my some God. guys just don't wouldn't care about that. Yeah. 
Texas. Texas. You go, darling. What Thank about you? you? After all the, oh, oh yeah, let's hear a Texas. Oh, I do. Oh, now we have to do on it. Texas, worst, Texas like, has the best stories. Yeah, yeah, we got to know. Put them on the spot. This is the different show. Is, you're putting me on the spot here. I feel. Um, bup, bup. I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, as, as a gay man, you know there are shit happens. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. It can happen. So oh. it has happened to me once yeah. before, where like, I was the um, giver and the receiver was not um, ready. Oh no. Okay. Well, it's like most people have this conception of sex of being so beautiful and clean and oh, perfect yeah. based off like what they see in movies or porn, and it's like no, it's no. Not. no. the whole thing's just embarrassing. No, it's That's, it's yeah. definitely not clean, but it can be fun. You're just like a like a <laughs> slab of skin. Not, not like clean, but it can be fun. It can be fun. It can be fun. And you're like, <laughs> especially like you said when you're on birth control and been in the summer. Yeah. What does what does what that, does that mean? Yeah, mean I'm that? on birth control. Meaning like you don't use a condom. Oh, semen. Right. It's just like it's just a lot of cleanup. Yeah. When I was. Gross. Well, when I was younger, I was on birth control and I still use condoms because I was like uber, uber scared all the time. Yeah. Um, and I went to the doctor and I had like a replacement doctor from my normal physician. And uh, she's like, oh, I see you're on birth control. And I'm like, yep. And she goes, are you sexually active right now? I was like, yep, I have been for the last like four years. And she's like, okay, do you use condoms? And I'm like, yep. And she goes, why? Hmm. And I'm like, I've never had a doctor ask me why I use condoms. Like, yeah, do you think the doctor would be like, oh, absolutely, use condoms, use birth control, everything. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, because I want to be really careful? <laughs> I'm like, because I don't want a child. 18? I bring this up no in Funhouse videos a lot, but some women are allergic to their partner's yeah. semen. Oh, really? I have a, I knew a, <laughs> I knew a girl in college. <laughs> Is that you putting on your glasses? I'm a doctor. <laughs> I had a friend in college who, she was allergic to latex. Oh, yes, that as well. Um, so, like, I had a friend in high school that was like that. Yeah. So she had, they had to use, like, goat goat's skin. bladder. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like, what? Oh, yeah, there's there's different condoms you there can get that don't have yeah. the, the latex in it. Yeah, because I've heard that one before from guys. I'm allergic to condoms. I'm sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing for you. You should be like, well, I'm, imba- I'm allergic to pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, are you more allergic to condoms or a baby? Oh, baby. Yeah. 18 years. Yes, you're 18 years. year allergy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's terrifying. Can you segue me into a uh, Casper Reed? Oh, Jesus, right. Well, if you're allergic to a bad night's sleep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, then we highly suggest Casper. This episode of Eyes Open is brought to you by Casper. Casper is an obsessively engineered mattress at a very fair price. Casper combines two technologies, spring, latex foam, and supportive memory foam, to create an award-winning sleep surface with just the right sink and right bounce. You could buy it easily online and completely risk-free. Casper offers free delivery and painless returns within a 100-day period, so you don't have to lie down in a showroom. Casper also has free shipping and returns to the U.S. and Canada. Mm, holla. Get a Casper mattress for $500 for a twin or $950 for a king-size mattress. Comparing this to industry averages, that's an outstanding price point. You could save an additional $50 towards a mattress purchase by going to casper.com open and entering the promo code OPEN. That's casper.com slash open and promo code OPEN. Terms and conditions apply. I have a Casper mattress. Yeah, I do. We do too, and it's really comfortable. Yeah, you do too, I do and you too. Do, too. do you have a Casper? No, I don't. You should get one. I think that you're supposed to get a new one every six or seven years. I don't know. Yeah. I had my mattress for way too fucking long. It, I did you they, ever get rid of it? Yeah, I finally did. I yeah, had a big a burly man named Anthony come and haul it out of my apartment. Nice. Well, it's like you, I think your mattress gains like 10 pounds uh, over. That's just, my, I just can't my think my about it. It's so disgusting. Skin yeah. and sweat I don't even want to dusty. tell you about my mattress because of how gross it tell is. Tell us about your mattress. Oh, no. No. <laughs> it's, it's like literally disgusting. <laughs> I, I mean, I got the Casper mattress and Aaron loves it. And he's not there anymore, but I love it too. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. And it's really, it's funny when you open it because it really does the like. It, yeah, it's just like, yep. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, girl. They are wonderful. Well, I don't. Wait, real quick. Where are you from in Canada? Oh, I Toronto. I, this is like the first time we're actually Degrassi sitting is? down. And yes, yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Did you go to uh, school with Jimmy? I, I've never seen Degrassi. Wow. I've seen I've seen two episodes. Wow. See, yeah, I don't. I feel like it's a lame show to well, Canadians. It's because for us, we're like we want to watch American television. Yeah. We don't want to watch our yeah. own TV show. Except I did watch Breaker High. I did too. Oh, okay. We're on the boat. They're on the cruise ship. It's yeah. high school on a cruise ship. And it's a, uh, what's his face? Ryan Gosling? Yeah, Ryan. That was, what? That was what? My, uh, my first, and I thought he was the fucking worst. Oh, I hated him on that show. He was what? Terrible. Was he just a jerk? Was he, yeah, was he now? He was just, he was still young, so he wasn't yeah. like hot yet. Okay. He was just kind of like awkward. And I think he was like a bully on he was, that show. He was like an annoying nerdy guy that he was always like trying to be cool, but he just, just wasn't, just wasn't hmm. cool. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, he didn't sit with me, but I remember that show, Breaker High. Yeah. 
that, that I did watch. So yeah, we watch Canadian television. Yeah, and you know, mm-hmm. Luge Wars. Luge Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Is that <laughs> bears versus grizzly or grizzlies versus polars? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds so boring. You'll understand the reference. Yeah. Soon. yeah. Yeah. Well, let's move on to ask us anything. This question is submitted by Emily L. And I picked this one specifically because Elise was on the show. What is something about you that makes you feel super confident? Uh, th- yeah, like this is uh, this is definitely. I, I mean, I guess I'm pretty self-deprecating. This is a, a hard question yeah. to answer because I still like I'm I'm 30 years old and I still don't ever generally feel confident. Yeah. Um, and that's just me. That's just whatever I, I to actually sh- it's hard to shake that yeah it, it, it's tough and I, I actually kind of have a perspective on it which is I, I sort of look at people that are very confident and and very able to uh, just kind of be out there with any without any insecurities or like second guessing and I'm like wow that's that's really great but I actually think that the people that that don't have that naturally but that, that still like go out and do it are are like fighting the good fight, yeah. Because um, I'm always like ro- rooting for the perennial underdog, yeah. Like a uh, big Samwise Gamgee fan, big <laughs> yeah. cry at the end of Rudy every time. Um, but like, because people will message me and be like, you know, how can I have more confidence? And I'm and I say, well, as, as long as you do something and you keep doing it, that's good. Uh, I think I'm I'm really lucky that I get a lot of confidence from the people around me, yeah. And that's where I, I generally find that I that I do get it from because I still have a hard time. Just mustering it myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you seem very like comfortable too around that group, and that like everyone accepts you, and that like mm-hmm. you could be yourself. Yeah. yeah them. Like I think you really shine with the like everyone from Funhouse. Oh, honestly. thanks. The, the, like those guys are all all great, and I've known them for a long time. That and, and they like they like put me on a pedestal that like I don't under, always understand, but like I and it's really really like great of them to do that. Um, but I also sometimes just like try to look at myself and be like. You're a grown ass woman. Like, <laughs> buck up. Despite everything um, you yeah. might hear. Yeah. Like, I wish, like, Bethany has, like, the confidence I wish I had. Oh, um, wow. See, I, I feel like I'm more on your level. Really? I just don't talk about it as often oh, as you do. I, and that's the problem, too, is because when you talk about it, people go, like, oh, this person that's is funny. a like, nightmare. funny. One thing we always, talk, we always laugh about is, like, she'll, like, come to me and say, I haven't washed my hair in a couple <laughs> yeah. of days. And yeah. James is always like, why do you tell her that? Like, she wouldn't know it's if like you I didn't have to, tell like, her. Like, yeah. like, confession. Like, yeah. I can't, like, look at her. She looks at me and then she just, like, tells me all of her deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> but I think it's funny when Bethany's like, oh, you're disgusting. But to me, <laughs> wow, B, to you're me, a real friend. Bethany is somebody that like does not give a fuck, and I wish I had that. Like yeah, I admire, that's what I direct. admire about you. Yeah. Um, yeah I was gonna I say kind I... of similar to what you said that they help make you feel more confident. I think it's my friends that make me feel confident. Yeah. Like I know we're all like a bunch of assholes, like to each other and to other people sometimes. That's but, how you know it's a true friendship. But like, <laughs> it really is. Like when we're when we're traveling together as a pack, like when we walk in somewhere, I feel like we always have this big presence. Like we take over any location you're, or bar that we you, have. You think you're Katie here? And, and no, we're like, sex, girls. we're like Sex in the City. Yeah. It's just like Are fun. Are you the Miranda even... or the Carrie? That is insulting <laughs> that you even have to ask. Oh, no, wait, not Miranda. Uh, what's her name? Samantha. Samantha. I, 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 mean, Samantha I always felt like Miranda. I was a mix of both. I don't know. I never watched this I've show. never seen an episode of it. No one wants Same. to be the Miranda. I, I know. No one. <laughs> is it, is that the redhead? I'll be Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so um, who are you? Are you the... I would I, say I the know. mix. I, I would, I would call you the uh, Samantha. Yeah. Yeah. Is Samantha the crazy sexy... Not sexy, sorry. The, the sexy crazy <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> Having dreams about other women and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. 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 That's, I know she's go. a freak. She had a, like, a lesbian relationship in that show. Samantha. She, oh, that's right. With yeah. the artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I never watched Sex in the City, but growing up, of course, I had a, all of my friends were straight white women. Um, so we went to the premiere of both movies oh god and the second one was like so bad was bad. it one of them in like Shit. egypt or something it was in uh, uh, it was in abu dhabi some, yeah yeah abu dhabi. I, just, I slept the entire time <laughs> I, I, I just went just so sister. is that what makes you feel really confident i do yeah yeah i don't know i think like physically i've um my dimples have always been something that people have always complimented so mm-hmm. like uh, after to all these 42 years of my life um <laughs> That's been always something that I'm like, okay, you know, at least I got that going for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's important to have that sense of like humbleness. Yeah. Like, no, so for sure. these people who you see in life and meet in life who are like overly confident to a point where it's cocky yeah. and it's very unattractive. Yeah. 
Like for me, and I've talked about this on other shows before, where it's like I feel like an imposter in everything I do in life. Like oh, I should like not be doing this. Imposter I'm, syndrome. Yeah. Like women. Yeah. Oh, me. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Like, all the time. But um, ironically enough, I think doing this show has made me feel more confident in a lot of what I do, just like in everyday life. Um, just because it is such a big step for me to like actually be hosting a show and like having to think about that kind of stuff and worry about that stuff, where it's like I've never had to deal with that before. Mm -hmm. And the confidence from like the fans and the people who watch and like we get these amazing emails about people who yeah, have watched it great. and just like it changed their life or like it like affected them and I'm like that gives me so much confidence yeah. so well you've been doing a wonderful job yeah <gasps> thanks <laughs> but yeah. I'm I'm the same as you were just like yeah. I don't yeah, I, I, I can tell fine. like all three of you you guys are are people within the company that have reputations that precede you and everybody respects <laughs> all of you so much and like even like Mariel, like before I even <laughs> even, 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 even Mariel, <laughs> even Mariel, <laughs> just the the dumpster of the game. <laughs> like before before I met you, uh, because like like Bethany I I knew from Bruce, and then Barbara I knew just because Barbara being like very like forward facing on camera. But then just you, you had like a reputation just among like people in the company. <laughs> You're a fucking bitch. <laughs> be a total bitch dumpster. <laughs> no, of like being a, somebody that everybody really, really respects. And like, I always talk about yeah. you a lot too, so. Thanks, I appreciate Yeah, that. like, and I, so I knew, I, it wasn't even a question of me like, do I need to, to get to know this person to like her? Cause I was like, yeah. It, well, it's the same. So, like, with these couple though. people, like, yeah. Oh, there's been like the same. There's way. been times where Bethany's in the Funhouse office. I'm just like, is Elise there? Can you just tell <laughs> uh, me that I really love the Muppet like, Show? It, <laughs> like, I don't know if you understand like how much we talk about you here yeah. at Rooster Teeth. Like, er, like it in a sweet. obviously an amazing way. Red. Where like even the other girls here at the company, like Jessica and other people, are just like, oh, I can't wait to meet Elise. Uh, like, she's so funny, and I really want to meet Elise her. Elise is moving to Austin. Didn't you hear? <laughs> this is fact. Don't tease me with that. <laughs> this, is, this is true. <laughs> I just put it out there to everyone, so now you have to. <laughs> <laughs> the beach is right there, Los Angeles. You're welcome, Ezra. Well, there's a there's the uh, what Texas beach do we have? It's like a uh, really shitty Galveston. Got, you got uh, Corpus, Christi, Corpus Christi. You got South Padre. I mean, it's beautiful. The They're beaches just are beautiful wonderful. here. Yeah. I can't I can't move my dog. He has lupus. He wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't survive the journey. Just put him back in that car with the like. Congrats on the lupus. <laughs> <laughs> and then bring him down to that Have one. them drink. Bring no, him I. I, I try to convince Elise to move to. I think I'm up to reason number one thousand six hundred and forty-five oh, of moving so to Austin. Mm -hmm. I'll add another thousand. I'm like half of those reasons, but I've come yeah. up with others. So you guys I can mean, be together and you can dream about her. Yeah. Really. I Next. do really like hanging out with all you guys. Like when I was when I was here last week and we went for lunch. I, I really needed that. Oh, yeah, um, the girls' lunch. Just like stuff that was happening with me personally. I like that was that was such a nice like day for me doing that. Well, I think about too like like you're you work with all guys like yeah literally all guys and i i start to wonder like it's nice here at rooster teeth because there's a lot of female employees where it's like mm -hmm. we do get those chances to go to lunch with girls and stuff yeah and yeah. actually like do these types of shows with other yeah. women like I, I does that with, get I, to you ever yeah I, like i worked with all men before i came to funhouse yeah. so like i i was like okay i'm used to it but it was like a really really nice refreshing breath of air to like actually be able to interact with women sometimes. It was yeah. like a queef, you could say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and even just, I feel like also too, some of the, the ladies at Rooster Teeth kind of give perspective to some of the men. Mm -hmm. They go, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't stay in that hotel room without any doors on the bathroom. <laughs> But we do. Some people are into it. Yeah. yeah. We would, yeah, there's, I don't get the, the curtain on the bathroom door. We were just talking about this because we were at New York Comic Con and Let's Play Live in October where we stayed, which I will not name, because we'll probably stay there again. <laughs> we love the just business. had this glass sliding door. So it was never a secure door that shuts. Like, you know, there's like an inch underneath. I hate that. Yeah. An inch it's on, on each side. of the sides. Where you could hear everything. Well, yeah, you could hear it and see it because it was a glass door. So then um, Bruce's, our, our, our room shot like through the, you could see through the, the clear glass door to the mirror. If I don't know if you had a dresser in your room with a mirror on it, mm. like a big tall one yeah, exactly. that then went to the bed. Oh my so god. So you could lay in bed and watch Bruce take a shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He, I mean, he probably must have gone down to the lobby to shower. Oh yeah, we, we both agreed that neither of us would be doing that in the room while we were both there. <laughs> Even like showering when people could see you, it's like a very yeah. intimate thing. Yeah. If yeah. you're not already joining them, like you should be left alone. Yeah. Or just yeah. like turn around backwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't get that. Well, you said where you're staying now too has a curtain, right? Yeah, there's a curtain there too. And I'm like, 
Jesus, like, how do people shit in America? <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, the squatting? bathroom is just a curtain? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Like, you I've said that the that master before. bedroom has, an has a suite, curtain. But then with it's got a curtain. Yeah, that's not okay. Oh, yeah, weird. like, oh, you need privacy. That's Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> so is there anything, like, any situations or anything, like, where you feel confident well, or will, just things uh, about yourself that... Um, uh, being... Per, like paid to be professionally funny in some aspects like yeah. obviously like I edit and I do other things but but when you're when you kind of have that frame of mind of like wow that's something that I've been trying to kind of do most of my life I'm I'm sort of doing that that's definitely like a booster yeah mm -hmm. um this is really superficial when I get new clothing yeah I always feel oh, yeah. much more confident yeah I think most people feel that way I yeah. actually think that I, I feel the same way. I'm like addicted like, to it too. I'm addicted to getting new clothes where it's like. I feel good. If I'm in a bad mood or like yeah. I feel yeah. sad, I'm like, I'm going to go to like even Target and like get a new top and like mm -hmm. I instantly feel better. Yep. Yeah. I'm the same way. <laughs> yeah. Give me that sweet Target. <laughs> Give me that sweet Target. I yeah. almost hit my watch just now. Oh, your watch. Yeah, oh, I'm wearing it. It would be a shame uh, because this episode is sponsored by Movement. Uh, as you're checking off your Christmas lists, here's something to think about. What makes a movement watch the perfect gift? Well, they have his and her styles, it's one size fit all, and it's something they could wear every day. It's a perfect price with watches starting at just $95. That beats department store prices. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to movementwatches.com open. These watches all have really clean designs and we all get tons of compliments when we wear them out. We're actually all wearing a movement we watch. Are, yeah. Yeah. All shop. different ones too. Beautiful. Yeah, I've got the pink one. Boom. The I Beverly. Really like. I got the. I got the rose gold. Black. Black. I band. love this watch. Boom. Still in LA time. Oh. Oh. You're not going back to LA. I'm just going to tell you. Right now. <laughs> You're not leaving. Uh, now is the time to step up your watch game. Go to movementwatches.com/open. I love my movement. I love it too. It's yeah. just like I very simple and sleek. I don't like something that's very like big or robust, but it's really pretty. I feel like we should do a uh, what's that Captain Planet with oh. like Earth, <laughs> wind, wind, water, hot, Fire. Mexican. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Oh. That's all you need. Just your movement watch and your Casper mattress. Beautiful. No clothes. <laughs> or like that. All right. So let's wrap things up for our last episode of the season with uh. a sex expertise question. This one comes from KC. Just two initials. Okay. Nice. So this actually is a question we get a lot. It's very often from a lot of people on our email. Um, it's about virginity and things like that. I am currently 20 years old and in college, and I have never had sex. Most of my friends have all had sex at this point, and I am feeling really anxious that I have not. I feel left out and awkward when they talk about their relationships, and am then not as fun to hang out with. I really want to do it and get it over with so I can stop stressing out about it, but I have self-confidence problems, and therefore terrified of being that intimate with someone. I also don't meet new people that often, so I don't have a lot of opportunities. I think about this every day, which adds a lot to the stress to an already stressful student life, and I'm wondering how to get over this. I, I, I can imagine that it's different for, for a guy or a girl, like the, just the societal pressures, pressures of your peers. I would imagine this is probably a guy, I'm guessing just from the question. You think so? Yeah, 20 years old, because usually around then, like, a lot of guys have already done it, where I feel like for women... You even might if, wait longer. Even if you're 20, it's not looked yeah. down yeah. on by your friends. Yeah, no, yeah. I, had a, I mean, I had a lot of friends in college who um, went throughout college not having sex, whether it be by choice or by circumstance. Um, but I don't know. I mean, we like you said, we do get the question a lot about being like, oh, this is how old I am. Like, I'm st like I think we've literally gotten, I'm this age. I'm still a virgin. Is that bad? <laughs> yeah. Or just like, what do uh, I do? How do I meet people? Yeah. Or should I be having sex? I think you can be open with your friends about this. You know, can we talk about something else? You know, I feel like I can't contribute to the conversation. Yeah. yeah. Like personally, if it makes you feel any better, I was I was pretty young, and then looking back, I was like, Ugh, I wish I wish I kind of hadn't made that something that was like a priority or part of my life or with yeah. that person. How old were you? Seventeen. Okay. So I was like, I was I was young. And I was like in high school. I was, like, yeah, I was sixteen. Graduating high school, and I was like, B. I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I was fourteen. Okay. Oh my god. Was, okay. That, well, that don't listen not... to Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I, I mean, it's like there's no right or wrong age for yeah. it. It's all about yeah. where you I are. I was a like freshman in high school. Well, not if you're an old woman, at least. I have a I have a <laughs> summer <laughs> birthday, so everyone in my grade was 15. I know it's still young. Mm -hmm. Wait, was I 14 or 15? I was I was either 14 13. or 15. <laughs> well, I was not 13 because that was in middle school. I was 12 teen. I can't believe you were 10 when you lost your <laughs> What president was in office? Quick. Shit, I don't know. Shit, I don't know, girl. Good, her story checked uh, out. Trudeau. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a tough one. I mean, ugh. Well, it... I think stressing about it and thinking, like, I understand when you're that young and all of your friends are having sex for the first time or just, like, starting to get really into sex, so it's, like, all anybody could talk about. Yeah. I remember being that age. But if that's all you're thinking about and stressing, like, I need to meet someone, I need to have sex, I need to just get it over with, is, like, that's not a good place to yeah. be. Especially in, in college. There's so it's many things going It's just going to get worse on. and worse. Yeah. 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 And I think, you know, if... I find always the best things happen when you don't try to make them happen. Right? Yeah. So if you just make an effort to go out more, mm -hmm. join clubs, meet people through friends, and just concentrate on just making yeah. connections to people and friends and, and meet people that way instead of just being like, I need to find someone to have sex with. Yeah. Because that's just going to stress you the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. And and you're going to have so much time yeah. to, for yeah. that in your life. Like, to me, even, to me, when I look back now, 20 doesn't feel young to me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm like, God, I wish I was like, 29. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Married I, I for four years. In, I wish I was back in my 20s. They were a good time. Yeah. Good time. Oh my God. <laughs> I remember the 20s. Um, Those were good. Yeah. No, I mean, I had one of my best friends in college um, didn't lose her virginity, I think, until after college. And I remember, like, a lot of the time she was stressing about it. And, like, I mean, this is a girl who was, like, you know, I, like, every, she was a sorority girl, like, cheerleader, all these things. There was, like, it's not that there was, like, something wrong with her. She was just, like, couldn't find the right person, I guess, but then she kind of made that her mission. Yeah. And then as soon as it was over, you know, she was just like, oh, like, that's it. That yeah. was it. Like, I, I also think people put too much emphasis on it being like, this has to be the perfect person. Right. This has right. to be like the love of my life or like someone and the perfect who situation and the perfect sex. And it doesn't have to be that. No. Yeah. It just, you just have to feel, I think, comfortable with that person and comfortable with yourself. And I think those are the yeah. only two things that matter. Well, we don't know, like, yeah, if this is a guy or girl. But yeah. Either way. either way, like, if you get a girlfriend or a boyfriend at some point, that's probably when it will happen, mm -hmm. like, in time. Yeah. But, yeah, I think stressing about it and, and having it be the only thing you could think about is definitely not healthy. Mm -mm. Like um, rock climbing or something. <laughs> yeah. Get your rock on. <laughs> yeah, like, get your rocks off <laughs> in a completely different way. Um, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I wish I had good advice. I know. Well, it's hard. What was your first time like? Like, was it with a boyfriend mm -hmm. at the time? Yeah, but it's very utilitarian. Mm -hmm. Or at least, yeah. like, <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah. Bethany. Bethany was on a trapeze. Yeah. <laughs> so when you had just come out of the womb and had sex, like, what was that like? <laughs> I was. I think. I mean, I think I was with my boyfriend, and he hadn't had sex either. Um, so we were both virgins. So that made it more comfortable. So mm. I can imagine it might be. Worse if you're. Oh, you I can see how it's more stressful. See, I, I when I lost my virginity, someone. it was to my boyfriend also, but he already had lost his virginity yeah. before that. And for me, that felt more comfortable because I was like, you oh, at least he knows what he's doing because okay. I don't. Yeah. She's gonna starfish. Uh, I can't even <laughs> really remember. <laughs> you were just like so young. I'm right? just like. And it gets creepy when you get really young, right? Like, yeah. I black out. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, I, 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 I say that because it just wasn't memorable. Like, it just wasn't yeah. like, yeah. oh my God, this changed my life. Like, it just. Yeah. It rarely right. is. It, it never is. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually awkward. It's usually could be painful. Doesn't usually last long. But a lot of people just need that. Just be like, all right, I did it. Mm -hmm. And then they could relax. You're talking about sex now, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Aaron. What's up, Aaron? <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's, God, it's, it's definitely a hard question. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have any more advice for but Casey it's, it's here. It's okay but... to be a virgin, no yeah. matter. Yeah. And I, yeah, again, I would just say concentrate on just meeting people. In and Japan, nobody's having sex. Yeah. Too. Who's there? They're in just fact. getting their ears cleaned by people. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I would fucking love that. Me too. Yeah. Dude, I used to, man, I, so I, fun fact, random story. Uh, I, I, like, my ear canals are, like, like abnormally small. So when I was younger, I used to literally have to go to the doctor all the time to get my ears flushed out. So did I. It's like nearly orgasmic for me. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. It feels so I would get good. sick and I'd have to go do it if I had a cold. And yeah. it's it's the 
one of the most relieving oh. feelings oh, in the so world. Good. Have you ever that. have you ever had someone not flushed out, but um, the candle? Mine mine were so badly impacted that even when they flushed it out, I still had earwax clogging in into my oh, wow. um, like deeper into there. So they had to send me to an ENT, oh, no. just like an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Mm. And he did this thing where he had like this microscopic thing that went into my ear and like this tiny little instrument where he actually like cleaned oh, out the ear. Oh, oh, tell me more. And it was like <laughs> I could hear God. Like <laughs> I could hear everything. Oh, like people man. would tap on the table and be like, yeah. <laughs> and even, then I took a shower and it was yeah. like thunder. Yeah. Amazing. Even now, if I get into like a high pressure shower, I'm like, all right, here it fucking yeah. goes. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my doctor came out with first he tried a plastic sor- syringe and it wasn't strong enough. So then he came out with a big metal, like pointed syringe. Oh, it was yeah. like something like yeah. Looney Tunes, like yeah. Bugs Bunny <laughs> would like have to like blow everyone up with. Do they make they make you hold like that little oh, thing, the, the tray? Yep. But oh, and then oh, it yep. never sits correctly, so yep. you just yeah, get like get a wet water. shoulder. Yep. And he yep. still got it That's all so over weird. his jacket. Oh, it feels so good. You should good. do it, even if yeah. you don't need so to. Good. Just say, oh, I need to get my ears cleaned. Yeah. Okay. No, the Mexican thing is you get a piece of paper, <laughs> you roll it up, and you like, light the end, and then you light the end. Yeah. Okay. What does it do? Just melt it? It creates the suction, I believe. I don't know. There's a lot of like Mexican witchcraft to like make yourself feel better. That like. Yeah. Well, Casey, if you don't have sex, just go get your ears cleaned. Yeah, it pretty much feels the same. (laughs) There's plenty of things you could do to make yourself feel good. Masturbation, ears cleaning. There you go. Many other things. Some high pressure showers. There you go. Yeah. Multiple reasons. Well, thank you so much. Um, I guess that's our show. I think we still need to pay the tab. Yeah. So because this is the finale episode of the season, we We uh, owe you some money, don't we? We owe you a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> is it in the thousands? As I thought it was be, actually. Uh, is it in the thousands? So f- all the liquor that we have bought from the show. Guess, um, guess, guess. Oh. Ideas, ideas. Oh, I already know how much Marilyn it is. Marilyn knows me too. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. Do you, do you, do you know? know? How, how much did you say before? No. A thousand dollars. Six hundred and seventy-three dollars. Oh, beautiful. We need to be drinking <laughs> more. I mean, there are some episodes <laughs> where we bought and a I lot get of at stuff. least 35, 40 percent. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, that you, is that including the Cristal that I had ordered? Um, no, we didn't get that for you. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna give you a six thousand dollar tip. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> six, <laughs> six. Oh no, I should have added it up so it's six, six, six. Yeah. I knew what you were Mark going for. Seven, three. It's fine. All right. Perfect. Awesome. We Here. did it. Thanks for all the drinks. I'll leave it on the table. This has been wonderful, Barbara. You have been an amazing host. Yeah, it's been, it's been so fun. I like how we're treating it like it's ending forever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in like a month. <laughs> well, Will thank, we? Thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, we've had a wonderful first season, and we hope to be back very soon. And thank you, Elise, for oh, coming. Thank thanks, for, thanks for having me. And Meryl and everybody. Oh, go, back go back to your table. home. Go back to your home. Go. Should we, uh, yeah, let's go. Should we leave? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, we can take some little drinks. Yeah. I'm going to take some.